Hey people, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Steele and you're in the Steele's show because you have a chef. Yes, my name is Veronica. You can call me V and welcome. And this video is going to be show you how you can do um, the bead stitch and crochet and what yarn to you that I use for doing this. You can use a bead stitch for anything you like to do in crochet like uh, baby blankets, uh, anything right and it's easy super easy and super quick to make it you don't have to change a lot of different stitch you go on by let's go back and forth back and forth you know super easy um but let me let me show you um the what that i like to do i like to make in this size you know you can make it in any size that you like this is another one this is another yarn and you can make it in this side okay or a medium size sorry for my paper but i like to take a note <laughs> and you can make it in a bit of little tiny you know something that's small and this is another one in medium right or you like to make it in multiple colors like this this is the only one yarn and this is what the design come they come really nice and cool or this one is so really like a, this is really soft yarn and this one and I, I like to use for my face, uh, for clean my face, washing and dry, you know, because it's 100% cotton and it's really, really soft. I like to do that. And this is the yarn that I like to use for, um, for this one. For this one because it's really i really recommend this yarn if you want to use making your scrubbies for your face or like just how when you uh dry your hit your face you know you're washing and you want to i use this one and this is the yarn this one has come from um hobby and this is the yarn i use and this is what they look like that's a4 and this is what they have in the back and this is another one for hobby. This is A8, the size, this is number three, and this is number one. And, but you don't have that, but you have Hobby Lobby, and you like to do uh, buy a Hobby Lobby. This is the other yarn that I use. Um, it's soft, but I use this one for uh, for my face. Um, this one uh, is number four, and they say you have to use 5.5. You have to go with the size, the, um, uh, the hooks for each yarn, you know, they're totally different. The other ones, the other ones that I like to use for um, for your dishcloth and for your kitchen or for whatever you like to use, I'm not, I'm not using. Um, it's a hundred percent cotton, but I'm not using for my face. I use it mostly for my kitchen. Uh, making anything for, I can use it in my kitchen. This is the yarn. Uh, this is a sugar and cream. That's the color. This one is this color. This one right here is this color. This is what I use. So um, I use these ones too. And this one that I'll show you the color. This is a uh, peach and cream. Okay. And this is sugar and other sugar and cream. This, this, um, this four. I like to use uh, more for dishcloth, you know, um, for scrubbies, for my uh, scrubbies, for my dishes. I use uh, this one. This is more I recommend it to use. Um, it's a hundred percent cotton. So let's start it. I would just want to share with you and, and, um, and, and a video in the next continue this video, I'm going to show you what yarn I'm going to use. It's going to be the same. Uh, peaches and cream, but the label is totally different, but it's the same, uh, it's the same uh, company, but yeah, they, they change the label. Why? I don't know. So um, that's pretty much, and uh, hopefully you like it, enjoy, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, and you not subscribe, when you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and, um, and there's going to be more um, tutorials come, and um, it's not easy. I'm just saying, it's not easy making tutorials. For all those people, they doing tutorial every week. It's amazing. Um, you know, <laughs> I want to know how they do it. <laughs> but you know, I like to share the stitches that I like to use and what I'm making. 
So, and I like to tell you different kind of yarns you can use. That's, this is what I, I like to do. And, uh, but yes, thank you. And, um, see you in the video continue. See you in a minute. And I'm going to tell you what tools you need to use. Okay. See you in a second. Okay. So this is a yarn I'm going to use to, uh, show you, um, the V stitch. And the only you had to do is we're going to use only change and um i have double crochet and there's only the um the stitch we're going to use and this one so this is a yarn and this is what they have in here and it's five millimeters crochet hook this is the five millimeters right here that's the number if you're interested in this stitch uh um this uh crochet hooks uh all my information is in the description box below the way you can contact me i created this um as on um crochet hook with the stitch markers anyway <laughs> this is number four and this is peaches and creams okay that's the call the name that this one is gold i love this color so anyway let's start it and we are going to start this is what they have this is 100 percent cotton okay so let's go and we are going to start with um let me take my stitch markers. We're gonna use scissors, we're gonna use a needle, and one of these if you in case you like to use, but this is up to you, right? Okay, we are going to start, we are going to chain 30. Okay, they have to be multiple of two. Okay, that's the way I do. You can do right, you know, making your first stitch in as a secure stitch for secure your work. And this is what I do. I just hold it, okay? Put the hook inside, wrap like this, okay? And hold it with this finger. This is in just, in just in case you are just a new and crochet, and uh, but you know you can do it in your own way, okay? So wrap your yarn. You're going to wrap your yarn in the yarn like this, okay? And we're going to put inside the the hole right here and put it inside okay this one you have this one right here pull it and there we go okay and now get too little not too tight because we don't want to get this uh the, the chains to tie wrap your yarn okay pull it through okay wrap your yarn and the next this is the way you're making your change okay this is the base this is the principle is uh change for your create your creation any stitch you like to do okay we have two and i'll meet you at the end and the number 30. we have to get 30 okay and I'll okay be and that's 29 and 30. okay we had the 30 change already so we're going to count one here's the one you see the hole this one two three and four and the number four we're going to wrap the yarn and the number chains number four we are going to introduce the hook the, the hook in here and wrap it and take it out and wrap it again the yarn and top the hook and put all the three okay the three holes right here just one two and three now wrap your yarn chain one okay and the same you did the first uh, half double crochet wrap your yarn again and the same change we're going to do it again okay and there we go now we're not going to change anything but wrap your yarn and you you see right here there's the another change okay we're going to skip this one and we're going to end the next one okay and there we go chain one okay wrap your yarn and the so you see right here that's the same we want to work okay and wrap your yarn and skip one and go to the next okay and chain one so Keep going and I'll meet you at the end that this row that we started, we're coming back in here and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, 
So I just finished my uh, two double, my two half double crochet and this and this and the chain. So now we're gonna wrap the yarn and the last one right here. We're gonna skip one and the last one. We are not going to do another V stitches. I hope you have to have double crochet. Okay, you have one, two, and three. Okay, this one is gonna be in these three. Okay, and there we go. Now wrap your yarn chain one wrap your yarn chain two okay turn your work okay wrap your yarn in the hook and now you can see the change that we did and this right here this we want to work now in the top okay i have double crochet chain one and now they have double crochet in the same and you see the next V stitch right here? Wrap your yarn, go into the next. Okay. Chain one, wrap the yarn. You see the way you do work right here? Do it again. Okay. And continue to this, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay. Okay. So I am the last V stitch right here. You see this one right here? And I'm going to have double crochet, chain one, and then another half double crochet. Okay, wrap your yarn, and using this part right here, this is what we're going to finish this row. Okay, wrap your yarn and go inside, and a half double crochet. Okay, chain one and two. Okay, turn your work. Now, in here, again, we're going to repeat. You see, this is the row one, and this is the row two, okay? The same thing, chain one, wrap the yarn, I have double crochet. Go to the next V stitch. You can see now, you can see your work is getting in the, the V stitch. You see the V? This is what we want, okay? So, go to the next, and chain one, and the same. So now you can see how the how, how this work going, right? So um, so you can see the B, all this part right here. The more that you keep going, you know. Um, let's keep going, and I meet you at the end row number. I'm going to say number eighteen, and see how the how big it is. This is. This project is how big did you like your dishcloth or for whatever you like to use, okay? And mine, I'm going to go to the round number 18 and see how the big it is. And you can stop in there or you want to add in more or if that's too big, it just is up to you. But I'll meet you um, at the round number 18 and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to be finished. Let me chain one and I'll go be count with you how many rows I did exactly because like i said this is just depend on you how many rounds you like to do um and that's the half long did you like you more longer this is up to you okay so let me chain one in here so you can see at the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so I did 21, and let me tell you what I did 21, okay? Because if I do 20, my work, it will be turned like a, in this way. And so you can see, I start this part right here, right? So if I want to, like I'm going to say, this is the uh, the other size, the, the dishcloth. But I want, like I'm going to say, this is the backward, and this is the front right so i want to making the sing uh uh a uh, single crochet in here okay all these around okay oh you can do any other things but i'm going to do really really simple nothing you know fancy that's up to you you want to make in something else but i'm going to do um something just like this really really simple you know and and that's gonna be that they look like this you know something really really simple and um because i'm going to say this is the front and this is the back this is what i this is what i did 21. so this one is 
let me measure right here zero and here is 20 26 okay 26 cent centimeters and inches is 10 so and this size to inches is by eight right and so and and centimeters is 20 21 so this is here this is up to you right now this 21 by 18 you know this is up to you how big it but i think this is a perfect size so this is what we're gonna do i, I did chain one so in the same this is what we're gonna do you know and all working around the dish cloth. Now, in here, I'm going to do one right here, okay? And the same right here, great, oh, sorry. You see, I did one and hit this hole. And the next hole, I'm going to do in another one. And the next, okay? And right here again, you see this part right here? Right here, I'm going to do another one, okay? And going to the next right here. So it's kind of like you're going to do one in here and two in here. So here's one, and so it's going to be two. So continue, and um, you know what? Let me finish with you right here. So this is what I do in the mind, okay? You're doing it in your own way, whatever you like to do. You know, um, but if you just just learning crochet, I think this is a simple and quick, you know, um, dish class that you can make in your time, you know, and and practice crochet. And um, but let me get to uh, to the end in a corner, and let me tell you how many you have to do um, in a corner. And, um, okay, I really love this kind of dish cloth or whatever you like to use for, for clean, uh, your, like I mentioned, you know, your car and this one, you can put it in, in the washing machine and ready to reuse. It's clean and use it for anything you like to use, you know, um, okay, right here. Let me put one more in here okay now here in the corner i'm going to do ten, uh, um four okay here's one two three and four okay and right here and the next ones the next uh you're going to do it this what i do okay and right here, this hole right here, you see this hole right here, I'm going to put inside one. And this part right here, okay, I'm not gonna do inside the change, I'm going to do inside the, this hole right here. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, and the next, you see right here, this part right here, I'm going to do the next. Okay, and to the next right here, and this is really simple, you know, so you can see the corner right here is on like a little, you know, um, really nice. So you can uh, see what is the each corner and your dish cloth, you know, and go to the next. And that way um, I keep it this one right here. So that way I can hide when I crochet, you know, and you don't know how you, you know, like to do in that you're doing it in your own way. The way you've been doing is fine, you know. But I keep in mind and like that way when I finish my project. Um, so keep going. And I'll meet you at the end that we started right here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm here in the other corner. So you're going to do in, in four single crochet. This one. Two. Three. And four. So this part right here, you're going to say, okay, where is gonna be the next single crochet? You see this hole right here? This is what we're gonna do. Working in there. You see this one right here? That's gonna be to the next. 
okay? Every single hole you see, you're gonna do a single crochet. And this right here, go to the next, okay? And you see this part right here, you're going to do another single crochet. And just keep going and go to the next one right here. And so this is what did you like, you know, if did you like this, but you want to make it another one, this is up to you. But continue and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now I'm at the end. Okay, right here, because I did one and this one right here is two. I'm going to only make in two, a single crochet at the end. Okay, and this part right here, this one right here, I'm going to do a slip stitch. This is what I'm gonna do, okay? And come true, okay? And now, use your scissors, and cut it, and secure it, okay? Now, this is what you're gonna do. If you like to hide your um, extra, extra, um, your ex extra yarn, you can do with your crochet hook, or your needing, your needle. I like to do with my needle because it's more easy to hide, you know, and go more, you know, people like to do, some people they like to use the same hook and hide the yarn. And they don't have to be like, wow, you know? So just leave it and stretch this a little bit and this go behind. And this is what the look, so you can see that's the V stitch. This one you can make in anything, blankets, baby blankets, anything. They're super easy, super nice, and so you can, um, you know, finish and whatever you like, you know. So you can see many, many different ways. So thank you guys. This is what I wish you could share with you. This is one of my favorite, favorite stitch that I like, like to use, and especially my baby blankets because it's super easy and let's be. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you like this tutorial. Uh, this is, uh, it's something real quick. You guys can use this stitch for anything. So everything and uh, the tools that, or the books that I use, take it out this stitch is going to, in my, in my description box below to this video. If you like to uh, look for the book, it is not, but you already how you know how you're doing this stitch. I'm going to try and to do different stitch um, every week and see, you know, what which one did you like. But just let me know what stitch did you like to learn and I can find it in, in the books that I have and, you know, and I can make them for you guys. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful yarn day and leave a comment what you think and see you in the next video. Bye.